Hi everyone. In this video, we'll learn how to do the or to do the or solve the problems of flotation. Okay, let me take the first problem. A wooden block of width 1.35 meter, 0.75 meter depth, and 3 meter in length is floating in water. Determine first one volume of water displaced, second position of center of buoyancy, third metacentric height. Take gamma of wood is equal to 6.4 kilo newton per meter cube. So let me start the solution. Okay. So you observe here. So there is a wooden block. He has given the size of the wooden block, which was floating in the water. But he has not told anything related the depth of immersion. Okay. So let me take this is the center of gravity. G, this is the center of buoyancy, B, correct? So he has given the dimension. So the depth is 0 0.75 meters. Okay, the width is 1.25 meter. Okay, <clears throat> let me draw the plan of this. If I take the plan of this wooden block with respect to the liquid surface, what I get is this. In the plan with respect to the liquid surface, if it, I can see the length that is three meter. He has given the length, the width remains 1.25 meter. So, this is the axis continuous. This I'll axis is the main axis. I will take this as the y y axis. Okay, so now since the block is rectangular in shape, the center of gravity is point. 75 divided by 2. This is the distance that is center of gravity on either side because it is a rectangle in nature. And depth of immersion is not known. Let me take this depth of immersion as h. Let me take h as the depth of immersion. Okay. So now he has asked you to find volume of water displaced. So in order to find the volume of water displaced, I need to find what is the depth of immersion h because volume of water displaced is nothing but volume of the immersed part of the body. This already we have discussed in the previous lectures. So therefore, we have to find the h, we have to find, <clears throat> in order to find the volume of water displaced, we have to find the value of h. We know that the buoyancy force Fb, which is equal to the buoyancy force Efb is equal to weight of the body. Buoyancy force, which is equal to what? Weight of the body, which further equal to weight of water displaced. This is the equation for the floating case. <coughs> weight of the body is equal to the weight of water deposit. What is the weight of the body? How to find the weight of the body? Weight of the body is nothing but the density of the body, that is gamma of the body, multiplied by volume of the body. Correct? Then weight of water displaced is gamma of water multiplied by volume of immersed part. Okay? The volume of immersed part. So what is gamma of the body? He has given the gamma of the body as 6.4 kilonewton per meter cube. So 6.4 into 10 to the power of 3 that multiplied by multiplied by what is the volume of the body? That is 1.25 into 0.75 into 3 is equal to gamma of water is 9810 into volume of immersed part let me take as 1.25 into 3 into depth, I take it as h because h is the immersed part. Only this portion you have to consider. 3 is the length, 1.25 is the width, h is the depth of immersion. If you simplify this equation, you will get the h value as 0.489 meter is the value of h. Correct? So, but <clears throat> he has asked you to find the volume of the water displaced. That volume of water displaced now, volume of 
water displaced is nothing but volume of what immersed part so let me write directly here volume of immersed part because volume of water displaced is equal to what volume of immersed part what is the volume of immersed part that is 1.25 into 3 into h h already i have found out that is 24.9 that it works out to be volume of the immersed part which works out to be 1.834 cubic meters let me take this as v dash because in the previous also we have taken the immersed part as v dash that's why i use the same notation here so we have found out the first one that is volume of water displaced is finished next he has asked position of center of buoyancy how to find the position of center of buoyancy look at the sketch the position of center of buoyancy is at the point b this b that is point b or the center of buoyancy that is i'll write directly as position of center of buoyancy b is east at a distance of h by 2 from base h by 2 from the base which is equal to 0.489 divided by 2 this distance i am telling this distance is what h by 2. correct so therefore which works out to be 0.244 this 0.244 meter is from where it is with respect to what the base of the body okay so this next one is the third that is metacentric height in order to find the metacentric height we need to find what is i value that is i is the moment of inertia of the plan area so this is your plan so how to find the moment of inertia of the plan area with respect to this yy axis since this is a rectangle in shape i y y is b cube d by 12 correct what is b here that is 1.25 cube into d is 3 divided by 12 you get the value of i which works out to be 0.488 meter to the power of 4 that is your next that is volume of immersed part we need to find next in order to find the metacentric height you need bg so how to find the distance bg you observe the sketch this bg works out to be bg works out to be this is 0.75 by 2 this is 0.75 by 2 minus of h by 2 i get this distance okay this distance is equal to 0.75 by 2 minus h by that is 0.75 divided by 2 minus h by 2. What is h value? 0.489. So, therefore, Bg works out to be 0 0.1305 meters. Now, I use metacentric height. That is metacentric height is equal to I divided by V dash minus of B G. Okay, which works out to be 0.488 divided by 1.834 minus of 0 0.1305. If centric height works out to be 0.1355 meter is the metacentric height okay now we have found out volume of water displaced volume of water displaced is nothing but volume of immersed part that is v dash is 1.834 cubic meter position of center of buoyancy is h by 2 from the base that is 0.244 meter then the metacentric height works out to be 0.1355 meter this is how you should solve the problem on flotation second problem a solid cylinder 2 meter in diameter and 3 meter height is floating in water with its axis vertical. If the specific gravity of the cylinder material is 0.65, find the center of buoyancy, volume of water displaced and the metacentric height. It is similar to the previous case only, but instead of rectangle, yes, given what? Cylinder here. You have to observe very carefully here. So first, 
let me start this while writing the sketch okay so it is a cylinder which is floating in water okay so here also the depth of immersion is not known so let me take this as g this is b so it is 3 meter height he has given the height of the cylinder as 3 meter okay so now the depth of immersion is not given let me take this as h similar to the previous case if i write the plan of the cylinder you observe carefully the cylinder having a diameter of 2 meter <clears throat> if you take the plan area of the cylinder with respect to the surface or the liquid surface this is nothing but the it will you can see a circular shape of 3 meter diameter sorry 2 meter diameter correct at the top you can see it is a 2 meter diameter okay. very very important one because uh, while taking the metacentric height moment of inertia displacer while well, let me explain later so now the equation is the force of buoyancy is equal to the weight of body which is equal to weight of water displaced correct now how to find the weight of body that is gamma of the body there is density of that body multiplied by volume of the body what is the density of the body so in the problem he has not given the density of the body directly instead he has given specific gravity of the cylinder material is 0.65 therefore the density of the material becomes specific gravity multiplied by 9810 into the volume since it is an cylinder the volume is pi d square by 4 into height height is 3 meter which is equal to the weight of water displaced is nothing but gamma of water 9810 into the volume of immersed part here volume of immersed part you should take only this much therefore volume of immersed part is pi into d square divided by 4 multiplied by depth of immersion h if you simplify this you will get depth of immersion as 1.95 meter okay so you got the volume that is height of that is the depth of immersion 1.95 meter then you have to find the first one is the center of buoyancy the center of buoyancy b is at a distance of h by 2 from the base h by 2 from the base therefore first one center of buoyancy b is equal to h by 2 that is 1.95 by 95 by 2 which is equal to 0.975 meter from base correct so second one is volume of water displaced volume of water displaced is nothing but the volume of immersed part therefore v dash volume of immersed part is equal to pi into 2 square by 4 into h that is 1.95 works out to be 6.126 cubic meters okay next third one is metacentric height in order to find the metacentric height let me find the value of i first that is moment of inertia of this plan area with respect to the liquid surface if you take uh, with respect to the liquid surface along the longitudinal axis or this main axis if you take the moment of inertia works out to be pi t to the power of 4 divided by 64 because the plan area is circular in shape you have to use the moment of inertia for the circle then if you substitute the d value as 2 and simplify you get i as 0.785 heater to the power of 4 the next you have to find the value bg from figure the value bg you observe here the center of gravity is let me mark the center of gravity is depth is 3 3 divided by 2 for the cylinder therefore bg from the figure you can write bg is equal to this 3 by 2 total distance minus of h by 2 that is 3 by 2 minus h by 2 you know the value of h already kindly substitute that you will get the value of bg as 0.525 meter okay 
you know, you got I, you got V dash and BG. Now I'll write the third component is metacentric height. Metacentric height is equal to I divided by V dash minus of B into G, sorry, BG. Okay, so which is equal to I value is 0 0.785 divided by the volume is 6.126 minus BG is 0 0.525. The metacentric height works out to be negative here minus 0 0.396 meter. So you might have wondered what is this negative sign? This negative sign indicates that your equilibrium is unstable. The body is not stable, it is unstable because metacentric height is negative. Negative indicates the equilibrium is unstable. Okay, that might also ask, check the uh, equilibrium, whether the equilibrium is stable or unstable. You might ask in the question at that time, if you get the positive metacentric height, you can write it that the equilibrium, it is got, the body has got a stable equilibrium. If the metacentric height works out to be negative, the body, you can say it is an unstable equilibrium. Okay. Problem three. So let me give this problem for the assignment or the work. So you work yourself. The answer I have written. So it's a solid cube of side 0.5 meter each is made out of a material of relative density 0 0.5. The cube floats in a liquid of specific gravity 0 0.95 with two of its face horizontal. Check its stability. So in order to check the stability means you have to find the metacenter height. If the metacentric height works out to be positive, it is stable. If it is negative, it is unstable. So here the volume of submerged, the volume of immersed part V dash is works out to be 0 0.065 cubic meter. And you will get the metacentric height as negative and it is an unstable equilibrium. Solve this problem and check out the answer and comment uh, below if you get any other different answer or comment below your answers. Uh, kindly subscribe to my channel so that you'll get a uh, notification whenever the new video is launched. Okay. Thank you so much.